What's going on? This is Legend Over All About The Cakes. Subscribe to the channel. What's up with Little Dirt, man? Like, listen, you really want to be on this trial with the Young Thug, man. You better stop doing that, man, because they might come after you next. You got you got your uh, your case dismissed because, you know, King Von died, so you maybe blame that on him. So you got that dismissed. You better be careful, man. Like, they might come after you next, man. You out here, I know you got your new album about to come out. You trying to promote it. But stop using Young Thug to promote your album, man. Just promote your album. You, you got a dope album, it'll do what it do. You know, I'm sick of y'all people out here using Young Thug and trying to use him for clout and stuff, man. This shit ain't funny. The dude's facing life in jail. You got everybody snitching on him. His brother, his cousins, his, his artists, his, his friends, his people. And, and people out here, they kick you when you down, man. And they kicking Young Thug down. <laughs> they kicking him when he down, man. You know, when he was up, everybody was up on his behind, loving him, kissing him like he was a baby or something. So, Little Dirt, chill out, man. You do too much, too much, man. Like, you know you're from Chicago. We know, I'm not going to say you're not built for that life because we know, you know, you did a few things. But the point is, man, leave Young Thug alone. I don't care if you're best friends with him, man. Keep your mouth, keep your name out of his mouth, man, because y'all all just making him getting more in trouble and trouble and trouble and you really want to be in this case you really want to be in a rico charge you really think that shit's funny until your ass in court with like young thug and your ass gonna be out there crying because uh, to me i think you'll be snitching <laughs> you know you don't have the, the loyalty like young thug got so man, stay out of it stay out of the business and let the trial do what the trial do if they find them guilty they find them guilty they don't get come home free that's just that get out of the business young thug clout man stop doing the clout trying to promote your album like i said if the album was dope it would do what it do next topic i don't give a fuck who you used to see me with they no longer around it's a fucking Six dog nine, you know he breaks down the snitching case he brings down how you know young thug is you know is in deep deep in trouble um since i know all about the situation i mean a lot of people want to call him a rat and all that he, 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 he using it, you know, as clout, man. Sis9, I like Sis9. He keep it 100. He keep it real. Um, I don't believe in the snitching shit. Never will, never never will. You know what I'm saying? That's why I told you, if you do a crime, do that shit by yourself. Don't be doing crimes with other people because when they all get caught and y'all all get in the jail cell and y'all all get in that little, that little office they give you and y'all all in separate office, somebody is snitching on you or them. It's just the way the game goes. So if you do a crime, do that shit by yourself. If you can't do it by yourself, don't do it at all. And that's just simple as that. I'm not telling people to do crimes or whatever. But if you're going to do something, do it by yourself. Because if you get caught, it's because you slipped up. Not because somebody's telling you. You know what I'm saying? So like since I was breaking down the case, how, you know, fat boy, we call him Gutter. You know, fat boy Gutter. The snitch. Um, how it messed up, you know, Young Thug. Because Young Thug had a, you know, he was trying to get a bond. And, you know, he's trying to do a package deal, trying to get out. But, you know, that shit right there actually messed him up even more. And a lot of these dudes who's, who's taking these plea deals, man, y'all would, if any of y'all did it with the jail, y'all was only going to do maybe around two years, maybe three years the most. Me, if any of that, five years the most. Y'all niggas ain't built for that life. I don't know why y'all do crimes and you not even built for that life. Like, if you're if you not built for that life, don't do no crimes. Because you know, if you get caught, you're going to jail. So that snitching stuff is crazy. But like I said, Sis9 breaks everything down. You, you can listen to it on DJ Ackerman's page. And he breaks everything down. You know what I'm saying? He's 100% right. He's 100% right. And even if you don't like Sis9, you call him a rat. In the hood, yeah, we call him rat. We call him rat. I mean, yeah, he snitched, but he had a purpose for snitching. You know, you got your your, your main man, you know, you know, fucking your girl, stealing your money. Then get you kidnapped. Then he's not feeding. He's not feeding the other members that is in the game. So they blame it on you, and that's why they kidnapped him. You know what I'm saying? Me, I wouldn't did it, but him, he had a sacrifice. He was like, "Fuck it, I'm not gonna sit in jail." Well, y'all motherfuckers is free, and y'all laughing about it. Everybody's in a different situation when it come down to that. Like I said, when you get in that jail cell, when you get in that little office. Things change. You could be tough and hard on the street and doing all kinds of stuff. But when it comes down, when you get in that office, in the police station, 
is a different story. When you get in a raggedy ass police station and you trying to figure out how are you gonna do? Cause people is tough on the streets. People's tough when they killing people. People's tough when they selling drugs. But when they get in that jail cell, that eight by 10, and when they get with them people, them cops, you know, ask you a whole bunch of questions, motherfuckers start telling like they singing. So, you know, it is what it is. Anybody talk about they tough in the streets, hey, listen, the streets is a, a piff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's a piff, man. Like, like Troy App said, man, these streets don't care about you, man. Because I'm telling you, people always talk about, oh, I own the block. You don't own no block, B. Because when you go to jail, that block is still there. So get the freak out of here with that. Nobody, I'm sick of people who keep saying, oh, this is my block. I own this. This is my street. This ain't your street. And it, it doesn't have your name. It doesn't say, it doesn't have papers or you own in the street. You don't own nothing. Because maybe you sell drugs on the street. Or you might got some connects on the street. Don't mean you own the streets. All right? Nobody owns the streets but these white people, man. All right? So you don't own nothing. So stop trying to play like you own something. You don't own nothing. I'm sick of people saying that. I dudes in my neighborhood, you I used to hang out with, talking about, yeah, this is my block. No nigga, it ain't your block, nigga. This is the police block. <laughs> Make a mistake and see what happens when you go to jail. That block's still gonna be there with different people. Dude, generation, generations. You don't own nothing, B. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, let's scratch to the channel. Uh, if you watch the um, DJ Akamemic page, you, you see how, you know, Sis Nine breaking stuff down and about the trial and stuff. Cause you know him and Sis, Sis Nine and Young Thug had a little beef going on. But you know what I'm saying? I guess Sis Nine, you know, he's not really bringing that up. He bringing up, you know, Young Gutter and stuff, Fat Boy, who snitching, you know, and the whole crew. Cause he was the first one who snitched out of all of them. And then everybody now is just snitching in the last week and a half. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. Free Young Thug, hope he can get out this, man. If he if he do do time, hope he could maybe get like 15 years in jail. By the time he get out of jail, he'll be around 46, 47 years old. Um, I mean, his, his rap career won't be over, but I mean, he will miss millions and millions of dollars, man. He he already lost millions and millions of dollars now. You know, he was getting, what, 300000 a show. Now you add that up, say you do a 30 um, day tour. And you get 300000 a tour, man. Add that up, man. That's a lot of money. So, almost a year in jail, he lost around maybe five, six million dollars. But, you know what I mean? When you put yourself into that situation, you're going to lose a little bit. But anyway, subscribe to the channel. Put a like on the button. We are out of here. Salute. If you like this video, leave a, leave a like or dislike. If you ain't feeling this, just don't leave nothing. We out of here. Salute.